Let me introduce to you Hector Mafasa. Hector, um, I understand that this book right now is like, it's, it's really climbing and it's making waves. And people are saying it's a great book. And uh, so share something about the book with us. That's right, Joe. First of all, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure being here with you. Uh, much respect. Yeah, no regrets the journey. It's a story that uh, I wasn't going to write, but in my conscience, I knew that I had to. Uh, sort of like instructed. I was instructed by my conscience that I had to tell my story because I lived the world of pain and a world of masks. I wore many masks in my journey. So when I embarked on this journey, uh, it was sort of like a relief, a relief to tell the world my secrets. And in the book, I'm not going to share my secrets with you at the moment, but in the book, you'll read the secrets that I hold. And it was these secrets that held me hostage all my life. What happened is that the uh, child, from being hurt as a little boy, as a six-year-old boy, took the teenager and the adult hostage all well, their lives. Hector, you know what they say? They say when you're able now to come to a level in your life to talk about secrets and other stuff in your life, that's a show of confidence. That's a show that you have grown to a level in your life that you're able to share that and, and you're, you're a confident man. And uh, yes, is that Central Park by the way? Yes, that is Central Park. That's actually, uh, this was two pictures that were taken at two different times and they were put together to make one. This is the fountain in Central Park. I slept here as a 10-year-old boy, a 10-year-old child, being homeless. I remember sleeping here many nights. And so I went back, and this picture, a lot of people want to know why they show my face. And it's not about the ego, Joe. It was more about the message, not about flaring myself up to like look at me in popularity. This was more about something symbolic, something more meaningful to me. And so I revisited that location to actually reflect back as an adult on that little child that I remember suffered a whole lot sleeping in that same so area. Let me ask you a question. If, if I was looking to pick up a new book and I was shopping around, and why, why would I want to read your book? That's the first question. Oh, that's a great question, Joe. Uh, well, I've been, you know, we're inspired by people or something at some time or another. And I wrote this book because there was a seed planted when I was a teenager. Right? I read a story called Down These Mean Streets by Petey Thomas. Yes. Actually, they're using that book as lectures now, lecturing in universities. So he's a fascinating guy. But the story, what it did for me, was planted the seed that one day I would tell my story. But I didn't know, Joe, that 45 years later, that seed took root and it gave birth to this. And yes, a lot of people are buzzing about it. Uh, I, I have, I'm getting great reviews. You are, and, and I hear it out there. I see people talking about this book already. They're talking about how your story of survival is very interesting and it's a must read. So um, I'm proud of you. Thank and I'm you. I'm sure that the people that are reading the book are very proud of him. And it's something that you have to pick up and you have to go to his website. What's your website, by the way? www.noregretsthejourney.com. I'm also on Instagram as No Regrets The Journey. You can follow me there on Facebook, Hector LaFosse. I'm also on Twitter. Uh, but it's a journey, Joe. It's a journey that I'm taking, that I'm embarking on this journey with the world. And you said something interesting. It's the courage that I had to find to do this. Because it's a revelation. It's my secrets. Right? So I was in despair and it was very difficult to do. But again, it was a revelation. I, by self-expression, I was able to restore me to sanity. So no longer am I ashamed and embarrassed 
I've grown up and, and become a man. Too. And I think that most people that you pass by in everyday life, everybody has their own secrets. Everybody has their own skeletons in their closet. Right. Some people will go to their grave without sharing. But if you have an interesting story to tell, I mean, just think about how many movies came out of books because the story was about somebody's survival, you know, about their life. Right. right. So, uh, my, my next question w would be, um, uh, are, are you doing any book signings out there, uh, you know, any promotions or anything? Yes, yes, I've been invited to uh, various places, to some talk shows up in New York, uh, to do a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, uh, rather a radio, radio, uh, radio show. But I got the biggest thing that's happening to me now, it's that uh, I'm doing my first book signing on the Salsa cruise to Cuba. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be on that cruise. I'm going to be filming the Salsa Cruise TV show, so amazing. it will be great to see you on that cruise and to see where you're at with the book. Yes. It around yes. And, and that's going to be October. October 2018. Yes. yes, and I'm so October excited. 29. It's gotten a lot of, you know, talk, the, 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 just to cruise alone. I mean, Myrna's doing a great job with this. She and, is. And they allow me on here. Great yeah. job. You know, they allow me to come on here. And, you know, I want to just say this, that I asked for a hand up, not a handout. And someone offered that and extended their hand. And that's why I'm actually going on that cruise to do my very, very first book signing. And we're so, so excited. So your first book signing is going to be on the Salsa Cruise. And uh, you, there's never no thing of hidden gems. Like, can you get a copy of this book and get it signed? Is there going to be any hidden gems, like before the Salsa Cruise? Well, you know, I don't want to do any book signing prior to the Salsa Cruise. Right, right. Because it's like an exclusive right for me to, you know, give them that. Yeah, exactly. To introduce exactly. the book there first and foremost. And, and they say one of the newest things is digital copies of the book, like e-books. Yes. So are you going to make it available as a... Yes, yes, yes. We're going to make it available on Kindle, Amazon. It's going through... It's, it's going through uh, uh, bookstores throughout the country. Uh, and, yeah. and yeah, it's going to be available, uh, you know, ebook. Yeah, and, and we're so excited about that. You know, it's, it's, the bird is getting around, Joe. Yeah, right. And so it that, is a story. It's a story. Uh, that, that helps keep the cost down uh, when they go to a digital format. Mm -hmm. Now, another new thing that, that they talk about is. Other than you signing the book in, in front of someone, uh, there's digital signing out. That's like, right. You know, so like a few special people can get a digital signed uh, copy of, of, of the book. Do you plan on doing that? Absolutely, absolutely. We're gonna make it available in, in any way possible so that uh, if you're not present, you can get an autograph. So yeah, I want to offer that, you know, and make it as easy as possible for everyone to get that autograph. So, um, another new thing they're talking about is audio books. You plan on doing an audio book? Yes, that's in the works as well. That's in the works as well. Uh, we're going to do an audio version of this. Uh, we're also going to have it translated in Spanish. Okay. Yes, so that... Yeah, so you know we want Latin America, which is a, a, a big population, a big market out there, and they also need to hear, you know, the story because they're secrets and it's a the revelation, but it's a healing thing, Joe. It's not just about sharing. There's also some healing and there's success. There's a success, so it's just not a message. It's just not a good read, rather, but a message. Right. Right. right? That's good. So, so everyone would get something out out of it. And you know, all ages, we're trying to make it available for everyone to give hope. Because what it is, it's an inspirational story of hope and success. That you too can do this. You do not have to suffer alone. There is help. There are people out there willing to listen. That you don't have to die with your secrets, Joe. Exactly. See? And, and this is what I'm hoping well, that, that's to, to the bring the courage. Message. 
that you don't have to die with your secrets. Right. And sometimes when you let those secrets out, it, it allows you to breathe. It's like taking a monkey off your back. Exactly. And, and precisely. So I understand yeah. where you're coming uh, it, from. It's a freedom, Joe. It's a freedom. Like, I've carried this monkey all my life. And now I'm being honest and revealing all of this stuff. And it's such an uplift, sort of like being reborn again. Yeah. So Joe, you know, growing up, I had a hard life. And I really didn't care. I was a self-centered individual. Nothing mattered. No one was important. Now, as a man, I realize that a lot matters to me. And what's important to me is, is to deliver my message. So you're at the point in your life where you care to uh, make yourself better, lift yourself up, that you're able to share. That's right, that's right. It took a lot of courage to do this, but this is me. And, and you know, and I care, I worry, I love people. I'm a human being, Joe. And now my message, I want people to hear it because it makes a difference. It's, it made a difference in my life. It's a strong message. People are already talking about this book. Uh, some of us had the luxury of getting a sneak peek and, and hearing some of those secrets. And all I got to say is you, you have to get it, get the secrets yourself. Yes, yes. We love the world and we want to make a difference. You got to pick up the book and you got to see uh, the secrets that are in the book and, and maybe you can possibly learn from it and um, it's, it's going to be good. So, uh, Hector, it's been a pleasure to have these few minutes to stand here and talk to you and for you to introduce your book. And you gave me your website, noregretsthejourney.com, and you gave me your Twitter. Uh, so there's a few ways to go and get information on the book. And I'm showing your website, you got an email and everything there. I have an email. So if people want to contact you or anything uh, about the book, or if they have any questions for you, they can contact me. Right. We're going to try to make it easier where you can leave suggestions, you can leave reviews, and, and leave your information so that we can get back to you. Uh, we're trying to make it all up to speed, you know, technology, to make it right. Uh, uh, because it's important that the word gets out and that we respond to you in a timely manner. Because there is a message to be told, a story. No regrets the journey, folks. Be good. Ladies and gentlemen, Hector LaFosse with the No Regrets The Journey, the new book. It's something that you want to read and check out. I want to thank you for joining us and watching this video today, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you, Hector. Thank you. My pleasure.